to the Supreme Divine Healers, Sri Sri Amrita Dhanvantari, may the Om Love be with us. Today we are going to talk about integrally loving self-aligned nutrition. I usually do not very often speak about nutrition at least not in videos but it is a very basic subject matter that comes up again and again so I want to address it as well there are many possible ways of feeding the material body with the macronutrients and the micronutrients and depending on what is the karma, the consciousness and the respective body of the person, the living entity inhabiting a different type of body, a human being can survive or even to some extent thrive with a variety of dietary regimen. Nonetheless, I am firmly convinced through my years of study and self-experience that there is only one optimal diet which is specific to our species as it is with any other species as well. Now we have to take into consideration the conditioning by society and upbringing. We have to take into consideration the affordability and availability and if one had the chance to follow the optimal diet there should also be a transition and a way in which to approach it a proper attitude because as with any ideal just to hammer for succeeding with following the ideal can cause many problems as well that being said, if we analyze the human body and compare it to the animal kingdom and what is the specific diet for certain animals and we analyze especially the jaws, the saliva, the enzymes, the pH of the stomach acids, the length of the intestine, etc then we will find that the animal that is closest to the human body is the bonobo primate or monkey as you will but in comparison to that the human body is even more refined that means it should also eat more fine foods more easily digestible foods now of course if the human being was under suboptimal circumstances it can take the help of the cooking method to make things digestible which would otherwise not be digestible but that leads us to the conclusion that what is not naturally digestible and not attractive to the senses in its natural state would not be the optimal diet either. The body runs on glucose or even more effectively on fructose. Hardly anyone knows that the human cell can directly use fructose from the bloodstream into the cell for the production of ATP which is a transformation of 
this monosaccharide sugar. Glucose is the next best usable sugar, but this already requires insulin to be transported into the cell for transformation into ATP. And the third alternative for energy would be to use ketones, which the advocates of the ketogenic diet suggest is the best. I will not go extensively into debunking this idea, but I will only say that it is an emergency possibility for the human body. It will also switch into that mode when you go into extended fasting and uh, the body will use fat resources to produce energy, which is also pretty effective, but it can never be the most natural nutrition for the human being, which I may explain in another video. So, as we have seen, the body uses glucose or fructose, which is the optimal fuel for the human cell. You can find scientific material on that as well. Also, I would highly recommend an article called We are mainly meant to eat fruits. Human is a frugivore. And that article is on Creation is Love website. So, that being said, our main source of energy are fruits, which is the most easily digestible, tasty and attractive food for the human being. But we have been told, conditioned, programmed, etc. to believe that there may be so many side effects, problems, etc. which is all not true as far as my experience, my study, etc. has shown. If we understand that fruits are the main food, ideal food for the human being, then how would the ideal diet look like? I will directly come to the point how I'm doing it and maybe I will later on mention a few options how it could be alternatively done. Which brings us to the subject of food combining. There are a few main groups of suitable foods for the human being and there are of course three main macronutrient groups which also should be included in the diet in a proper ratio. Very famous nowadays is the 80-10-10 ratio as promoted or discovered by Dr. Douglas Graham which proposes that the ideal ratio is to take about roughly 80% of your calories from fructose meaning carbohydrates, about 10% of the caloric value coming from fatty acids, lipids, and about 10% from proteins or amino acids. You see, I've been using these specific words, fatty acids and amino acids, which is already a good indicator that they should never be the main source of nutrition or calories. Furthermore, it indicates that the human body has to break down every large molecule of amino acids called proteins into its amino acids to build its own proteins. That is why amino acids in their natural state in fruits, fruit vegetables and tender greens is the ideal nutrition for this group of macronutrients 